Popeye's dried up cockroach. Maggots. That's freaking <laughs> disgusting, man. What the hell does he know about this stuff? I got a whole nother truck this size. Sheldon doesn't even fucking tell me. And so am I happy? No, I'm not fucking happy. Somebody pissed in somebody's cornflakes this morning. To make money in my business, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Buy low, sell high, and keep the goods moving. But I'll buy anything if the price is right. It's all part of the game. I live for the deal. I am a liquidator. I have a huge warehouse, and that doesn't come cheap. So any source is a potential source to make money. Bailiffs are a very important source. And in order to uh, get deals from these guys, you got to keep yourself available. You got to be open. Give me a number. Bailiffs basically seize assets for the landlord to collect unpaid rent. I'll take it over, and I'll run a GOB sale going out of business. If the landlord says, I just want to get this place emptied and rented, get rid of the shit, and I'd like to be the guy that they sell it to. So that's why Sheldon, one of my regular bailiffs, I let him rent some office space for me at direct liquidation. My lease is up. I'd like to take that office space upstairs if you still got it. A bailiff and a liquidator under one roof. This is the space. What are you going to charge me? You know, 500 a month. For 500 a month, it's a one-house deal. When Sheldon brings in deals, guess who's going to be the first one there standing looking over top? Let's see what happens. You got it. You know, the downside is sometimes with your friends, you know, things go backwards. There could be some conflict. 